Until for uh, nine minutes. One minute per <laughs> level. <laughs> so you're going to actually stop being an elemental while floating in midair. That's what I'm... Like, that's a... It's dangerous. It's not... I don't have to concentrate on being it an doesn't, elemental. It doesn't have to. It's just got a time. Okay. What's up, yeah, Snow Kitties? Like What's going on? Well, my thing of it is, once he stops being an elemental, he no longer has automatic fly. No. No, he casts fly upon himself. Yeah. It lasts for an hour, right? It lasts for minutes uh, equal to his, his, his caster level. Uh, mm -hmm. He should have it for at so, least nine minutes. Okay. Yeah, and he's going to be... Oh, oh, he's just paralyzed for one minute. Never yeah, for one yes. minute. For some odd reason, I thought it was ten minutes. No, no. no. God damn, that'd be insane. Um, let's go with this. Let's go with this. This is a little bit better. I need you to roll a d10, please. Okay. Watch him get a 10. That's a lot better. Not quite. You're actually paralyzed for three rounds. Oh, that's good. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, also, this creature has air mastery. If you were airborne... At any time fighting him, you must take a negative one on all attack and damage rolls against him. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so since he has moved in and he has paralyzed you with his uh, fear gaze, you see that he is now focusing his attention entirely. Thank you very much, Draconics, for that follow, brother. I appreciate it. Welcome to the fam. Uh, he is focusing his attention entirely on Mavu. Mavu seems to be stuck as well. You can't tell if it's the effect. Let's see if he's going to get it. He probably will get it. Yes, he will. You can't tell if it's the effect of the creature or just out of just sheer fear. But he seems to be stuck. However, the Breath Drinker itself seems to move up and his arms wrap almost up and around Mavu. And you can see that he's starting to suck life away. Um, Mavu just like stuck in a stare. His mouth moves agape. And you can see this, like, it's it's literally air escaping from the lungs of Mavu. Uh, and he seems to kind of shudder as this is happening. Uh, top of the initiative line, Balthar. All right. So I'm going to command Yulgar to attack the fucking uh, breath taker. Breath drinker. Okay. Because I'll, he's uh, airborne. Go. Because he's airborne, yeah, he gets a one. negative one on attack and damage. Uh, so, this one is going to be, he's going to, yeah, he's going to attack him, so it's going to be fight, which is, it's nine, it's see, ten is probably a miss. It's a miss. I need you to give me a fortitude save for Evilgar, please. Evilgar is... 24. Very good. Very good. You see Yulgar kind of like fall into a dipping spin action as he's managed to catch the stare. And for a brief moment, you feel this this horror fall over your owl and then yourself. Um, you've been traveling with Yulgar for long enough to know that there's yeah, something that something more is going on. Um, but now that he's made, your, made his attack, what do you do? Um, well, he still has his two talents to strike with. He gets a, he has a bite. Yeah, he has a bite and two talents. But he had to fly down. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, then I will. Uh, I mean, if you have him I stay there, then he can stay there and fight next round. But yeah, no, that's fine. So I'm gonna have him help Klaus, and I'm gonna continue into the main town hall, so that way I can see if he's okay. That, and also see if Tercian's in there. So I will make my way to the exploded door. Or exploded window. Okay, um, that's going to require you to do some building hopping. So if you would please, give me some acrobatics. Problem. Oop, that's you, Lars. That's not mine. Mine is... Uh, okay. Yes. 26. Hey, Cam, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the fam. Uh, very good. You managed to leap across a building. Jesus Christ. You're never ready for it. <sighs> Somebody just donated or something? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it just a sure. bunch of dudes. It was, in fact, just a bunch of dudes. Thank you very much, Skeletute. 
Okay, all right. Back, back into the... Yeah. <laughs> I Do love you. you. To go ahead and dry the seat off. We're yeah, good. we're good. Um, we're, I'll full round over into... Uh, Remember, to the mayor. Yeah. you... The, the full round for you was going to be a little bit different, because in this sense, you commanded your bird to dive, and you mm -hmm. commanded him to attack, and you watched this event, which is where you were basically allowed to determine that there was a lot more going on in the situation, that there's a lot more fear. So I'm going to I'm gonna take away half of your round so you can kind of, like, gauge the scenario here. Okay. Um... You still have All half right. a round. You, you can either take a standard or a move, but I'm not going to give you two moves. I'll use the move then. Okay. Uh, you will be able to leap to the next building. You'll be two buildings away before you make it to the mayor's, this uh, this town hall of sorts. Okay. Okay. Klaus! Klaus, you are paralyzed, sir. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Do you think what? about... Like how you're going to attack next, or does this yeah, strike gonna, fear in your heart? I'm going to attempt to continue to watch the situation unfold. Uh, you said that I could basically see him drinking the breath of uh, Mabu at this point, right? You can. Then, yeah, I, I basically everything I'm going to be focused on is how to take this guy down. Uh, does he like seem to be vulnerable while he's drinking breath, or is he pretty much the same as he was before. The only thing that seems to be any what a solid at all is a singular blue thumping heart in the pit okay. of his chest that while there appears to be some kind of rib cage, it also looks to be some kind of wind circulating pattern of sorts. Mm -hmm. Okay. My turn. Good to know. Okay. With my turn. Six. Six. Okay. Um, give me a perception, please, both of you. Okay. Thirty. It's gonna be much easier for Klaus since he's right over top of him. Twenty. Okay. Uh, as you both are kind of looking on, though, Balthar, you're hopping from building to building, you can see that this creature, though directly in front of, he seems to be almost growing in size, but Mavu himself seems to be decreasing in size. You can visibly see his robes begin to grow larger on his body. The cheeks are beginning to recess into his face as his eyes are almost borderline sinking into his face as well. Uh, he's lost six constitution. Shit. Jesus Christ. Balfar. All right. Um, I will. I will cast Cat's Grace on Yulgar, and then I'll take my move to continue to go you towards have, the. Uh, you have Sheer spell. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you cast Cat's Grace, which is going to increase his dexterity by four. Uh, that's going to be plus two for purposes of AC. I mean, he's not going to get a, a bonus on his damage, right? Yeah, it, it, all areas where dex is applied. Okay. All right, so you managed to cast that. What's the casting time on that? It is one minute per level. Um, six, so it's six minutes. I'm at cast time. I might Jesus! Jesus! I love you, Ben. It's instant. Okay. Did you get spooked again, bub? I did, in fact. Thank you, Inu. <laughs> Thank you, Inu, for the $20. Oh, ugh, all right, we're good. We're good. I'm okay, guys. All right, so I'll make sure to get reputation out in a little bit. Fuck. Um, good, 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 good. Balthar, you managed to do that. Um, let's see what we have for Yulgar. You can make Yulgar's right. attack. Yeah, Yogar will go. He's attacking at a twenty. Not plus five. Okay, so he's attacking at a plus four with his beak. So the first one is. Ten. It's 
it's going to be a miss. Yeah. Uh, second, our first Talon will be also a plus 10. 28. Yeah, that's going to hit. Give me some damage. All right, I'll get, I have one more Talon. That's the second one. Okay. 24. That will hit. Okay, so Talons... The Talons are piercing, correct? They are, I believe. Okay. Talons... Okay, it's 1d4. This one. I'm just going to put them both together. Sure, go ahead. 2d4 plus 2. So, 9. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's first bit of damage right. in on him. Very cool. And then um, I'll make I'll take my standard to keep moving. Okay. All right. So that's gonna get you. Let's see your acrobatics. Twenty-five. Okay. Uh, I basically set the DC at twenty-five for you to rapidly be parkouring over buildings. Mm -hmm. um, and if you do less than that, then we'll have some circumstances then. So if, if you know if you break 25 at this point, you're going to be fine. Okay. Um, Klaus, you have witnessed that Yulgar's attacks seem to, as Yulgar like, goes into bite, he connects with nothing. But as he dashes through the target, you see his his talons rear down and like scratch over this this palpitating blue heart that seems to leave like Ren marks in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm taking notice, but there's not a whole lot else I can do. Okay. My turn. Uh, with Yulgar attacking, it's driven the target mad, though his target is immediately before him as Mavu. He's actually been struck. He's actually been struck at this point. So... He is going to turn his attention from Mavu, and he's going to make an attack. What is Yulgar's AC? 21. Okay. And we have... It's pretty good. Gonna hit with both. Plus that. Uh, first one. Second one. Okay. Uh, as he turns, as the moment that you see that, that Yulgar is kind of like fluttering on by, uh, you see the target turn immediately and this like almost mummified look of disgust falls over his mouth. It's like... <laughs> as it turns and its arms immediately shift into like scythes as it basically wind scythes through the air and it sends Yulgar spinning. Give me a reflex please for Yulgar. Yulgar's reflex. Twenty? Twenty is pretty good. It's pretty good in the situation. Uh, he manages to uh, taper down to the roof itself, but you can see that there is a large burst of feathers. Yulgar has taken substantial damage. Yeah, damn. Uh, Balthar, you're up. Um, I'll keep. Yeah, I gotta keep going. I'll uh, full round into uh, into the uh, mayor's. Place. Now, I want to appeal to you here as Balthar, not as Ronald, because I know what Ronald would do in this situation. He's doing exactly what he would do. But your allegiance to this town is not as strong as your allegiance to your animal companion or the wardens of Saren. What would Balthar really do here? Out of curiosity, I'm not trying to enforce you to do one thing or the other. I just want you to stay true to the character. What would Balthar do here? Hmm... I mean, you said you said he went down, like he got knocked to the roof. Yes, you saw, like I said, an extremely large burst of feathers. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess in that case, then I would turn around and I would start firing off on the thing. Um, I 
Yeah. I mean, what I what I have known, Yulgar hit him though. Give me perception. This is a very difficult perception. Thirty-four. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Um, I'm just. It gonna... is kind of a disgusting when he gets it. It is. It is. But. I literally told myself, like, I'm going to set the DC between 30 and 35. And he hit in that area. So I'm going to leave this to an AC check. Or, or excuse me, an even or odd. Um, you have basically, you're multiple buildings away, and you're trying to spot something and uh, about this, uh, roughly the size of a human heart. And you're trying to spot puncture wounds on that. So even or odd in your favor. Even? Okay. 1d20. You got it. You actually have it. You see that there there seems to be no wounds over this creature's body, yet its heart seems to have talon marks that have raked across it. Alright. Um, if that's the case, then... I wonder... Okay. Um, I'll mark him as my hunted target. Okay. Uh, I will strike with my bow uh, at at, at the heart. Go for it. Are you going to call shot? Uh, well, I mean, I already pointed out. I already looked at... That the, you're aiming at the heart? Yeah. I'm going to say that it's going to be minus eight. So that's a miss. Yes. Yes, that is in fact a miss. Next time, I would suggest that you roll something above a two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will take another shot at him then. Okay. Secondary attack. Second shot is plus nine. Things would be a, certainly a little different if we had an entire group. Yeah. Plus nine. Yeah, plus nine. Twenty-two. Is that minus eight? No. Subtract 8 from that. We got a 14. So then 14. That is not going to hit. Alrighty. That is not going to hit. Your arrow seemingly passes through, and it just seems to just barely miss the target. However, you see that it misses the target, and the arrow actually plinks off of the... Uh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. You were trying to do a cold shot for the heart. Yes. Okay, I got you. In that situation, I got you. We're good. We're Gucci. We're all we're all good here. Klaus, this is your your final round. Oh wait, uh, can uh, Yogar uh, charge at him with a with a bite attack? I fly back up and strike up. Sure, sure, we can do that. 27. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, that's gonna be okay, very good. More damage. Klaus, it is the end of your last round. Next round, you'll begin to do something. Um, however, Klaus, I will say that as he has turned, the arrows seem to be firing through him and hitting the target and it has not dawned on Balthar that it is now striking Mavu that's not good my turn as your bird continues in again he's going to take strikes yet again oh, uh -oh. oh I'm missing a crit uh, whoa! -oh. This is doubled. Yulgar 14. takes fourteen points of damage. How's Yulgar looking? I'm curious. I know he's not looking great. He no, he's a little below. A little below half. That is the hardiest fucking bird. This thing is a, it's a goddamn mechanized condor at this point. Holy Christ! Thirty. Never mech. Is that you? That's nuts. All right. Uh, that is my round as he releases another torrent of wind blades yet again. This is like, it's almost raking through the air. It's it's 
a little insane to see. Uh, top of the initiative line, Balthar. Uh, Balthar, do you take another uh, shot at the the heart? I just realized this huntsman add plus two to him. Yes, it does. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, so. 20 and then I'm minusing 8, correct? Yes. Take it easy, Dritz. Have a good one, man. Okay, so the first one is going to be plus 6 with a double. 24. Okay, yeah. That's going to hit. Okay, so it's 1 D8. First arrow. Second arrow, and then merciful, merciful, huntsman, and huntsman, and you then I thought my second shit. Yeah, and then I have my second shot. That shot has been wasting an attack as well. Twenty. This is nine, so it'd be plus one. Critical? Oh shit! Roll to confirm. Mm. Nope. Critical fail. It it counts it out. Start again from uh, from that regular attack. It's a miss. Okay. And then I still have one more. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. That was actually supposed to be a plus. N I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. Plus. N what was my first one at? 14? Plus 6. So, yeah, it was plus 6. Okay. Technically, so still it's a miss. 21. Okay. Do, do, do. Wait, your last one is supposed to be plus 6? Oh, no, it's plus 4. I'm sorry, because it's done at a minus 2. It's my highest base attack, minus 2, but since I have... It's 8, it's... uh, Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, that's not going to hit them. Yeah. All right. Uh, Balthar, you see that your arrows, uh, the first one seems to strike home, and as it, it basically hits this heart, it, it almost seems to spin this free-floating blue heart like it's a, a body bag that's rotating on some kind of a pitch in the center of this mass. Uh, and it seems to kind of like recoil, and its arms swing in to cusp at its heart. Klaus, you're up in initiative! I can do stuff. Um... <laughs> So you said that the arrows were passing through the target, right? Yeah. And the only uh, reason they... that they're not hitting uh, Mavu is because Mavu has a shield spell up. Okay. Um, and they weren't passing directly through the heart, right? They were just passing through the body, mm -hmm. quote-unquote, of the creature? Correct. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going to... Hmm. Can't cast an attack in the same turn, which is really unfortunate. You can't cast an elemental form? No, he can't cast and physically attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about casting and then attacking with the uh, the chakram. Uh, oh, so no, you can't do that. No. Um, yeah. You're already an elemental, man. Stop asking for more. <laughs> I mean, being an elemental isn't, like that insane. Uh, I'm going to empower spell magic missile targeting his heart. Okay. All right. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Increase by half. Holy shit. 25 damage. Whoa! All right. Multiple Multiple bits of this this arcane magic seems to burst directly from your elemental uh, feeling, like this this familiar. I don't even. It's not even a blob. It's just this cloud of sorts. Uh, as this this arcane energy erupts from it, you see that it seems to pierce the heart and it almost tears it open. Where this thing was like clutching in, we're like trying to hold on to its heart. It just bursts, and the figure itself 
rushes, like, with this uncertain speed, just dashes away. Uh, the heart seems to shudder a moment and then falls down before you, where it seems to almost kind of begin foaming this this blue cloud-like mist at the feet of Mavu. Uh, and the body rushes back over to the open window that it had burst from, where there is now this darkened smoke rising from the ground. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if I can see it, but um, is Mavu getting his breath back? Um, Mavu seems to be lying on the ground. You can't really see much of Mavu at this point. He's kind of lying in his robes and he's clutching onto his chest. Okay. Um, yeah. Klaus, after your your spell, do you... What do you do? I'm going to follow the creature inside. Sure. Uh, Rushing over at your speed. Uh, As you move over to the top, you're about 30 feet away. Give me a perception, please. Okay. Don't fuck me, dice. Oh, oh thank God. shit. Very good. Very good. Okay. Pretty sure that's the ninth natural 20 of my players this evening. Um, as you begin flying in overhead, you don't see any figures. There isn't seeming to be much of the breath drinker, but what does remain is a sigil that is burned into the marble dais. This area itself seems to have a summoning circle. And you've seen this before. Yeah, at the location of the Umberholt, right? That's correct. Somebody's targeting Mavu with summons, and that's not a good thing. Um, so this is still outside of the, uh, or is this inside the city hall slash mayor's house? This or is, is it... this is on the balcony itself. Okay, on the balcony. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's no one around at this point, right? It's just the sigil. Correct. Okay, um, I'm going to head inside and see what's going on. Okay. Uh, when you move inside, I'm going to go ahead and in combat for you. Uh, Xander, what do you do? I'm curious. All right, I'm going to cast uh, leap on myself, or jump, sorry. I'm going to cast jump on myself. Sure. Uh, it actually got increased, I believe. It's no longer plus 20. I think it should be plus 30 right now. Uh, yeah, because plus 20 is just just never enough. Uh, yeah, fifth level goes to plus... Yeah, okay, so plus 20 at... Uh, that's still plus 20. Never mind. Okay, so I cast it on myself, and then I'm going to Hulk leap over to... Uh, as, as fast as I can over into the, the mayor's uh, town hall. Sure. Uh, let's see. If, if you nat 20, I'm just going to give you your Hulk leap. Good lord. Um, sure, you manage to clear, giving yourself even a running start, which is going to be plus four. It's going to put you to 52 in acrobatics. Um, as you begin to leap above the latest building, you manage to cusp just over the balcony's lip, and you land directly inside of the summoning circle. Mavu was left behind. Where you land, there seems to be a cloud that is immediately rushing into the room. You'll recognize this as Klaus. All right. Um, I want to grab the scent of whoever wrote that summoning circle. Because I know it wasn't Klaus that did it. Give me a perception, please. No problem. Um, perception, I think, goes up with Hawkinsman as well. Yeah, so it's... So you said perception, right? Yes. Nope, still 19. 35. Hey, Simone Belmont, thank you so much for those bits. Take these small bits for the day. I appreciate it, Simone. Uh, 35, the moment that you ca- kind of like take your, your deep whiff, you get nothing more than the intense burning of lavender, of herbs that have been burnt for the summons. You can't seem to pick up any kind of scent that would be remarkable for human or humanoid at all but the can summons- i follow the sense of lavender like has it been moved like has it been moved in the recent time that it's it's been set up or you are getting i want to follow that sure um you're getting nothing but this like overwhelming scent near the near the summons itself but as you begin to move down the steps uh to the area you are meted you're you're basically 
you're, you're greeted by none other than Kiana. When she sees you, she draws a weapon. And she says, Hold. Balthar, what are you doing here? We heard the burst from upstairs. Some kind of apparition uh, came came from the top. We just, me and Klaus, we just came in to see what, what was going on. Is Tercian okay? We, we heard the commotion. Tercian's not here. Where did Someone challenged him to combat. Yes, yes. Well, Tercian, he couldn't, he couldn't leave. He's, he's still at the guardhouse. Should, oh, oh no. What if they, what if someone finds out? Malfa, what if someone him. finds out that she looks back? But why would you come in from here? What, what, what are you doing? There was a monster that just came from here not moments ago. Some apparition. But nothing's come from this area, no. There was a summoning circle placed on top of the, the town hall. I like this Jesus Christ. I've gotten so much entertainment from your One broadcast. of these days, you're gonna, you know, maybe I turn that like feature off the during least the game I or should something. Do. I don't know if that's true or not. Slowly but surely, I'm I'm getting these mild scares that'll get me all the way to TwitchCon. Yeah, if you don't have a heart attack before then. Uh, you know, you know what? You're right. There are risks you take. You're right. Thank you so much. Sounds like a sounds like a good goal. Crap sack. Thank you so much for the ten bucks, my friend. Remember, guys, I'll be getting a reputation to anyone and everyone by the end of the session. If you want to get more bang for your buck, wait till the end of the month when I do my uh, my my Patreon day. You guys will get a ton of reputation then. Yeah, maybe that's the trick. You got to go ahead and advertise it right. Get me to TwitchCon. Or kill me early. <laughs> That'll Noted. at least double the donation. <laughs> Noted. All right. Um, but yeah, now that now that you're here, she said that there's been no one. No one has been here. No one's no one's come from up or downstairs. What happened to the guard that were up there? They they came down here. They they were all half orcs. We we had to defend the tax collectors. We've been a told specifically by the mayor what we're supposed to do. The mayor's not here? Well, to be honest, I don't know exactly where he is, but he said that he wouldn't be in town on this day. Nothing here makes sense. Is there anyone else other than you that's that needs help? Who else is in here? Listen, we're fine, but I I don't know what to say about Skylar. I, I believe I believe he was slain outside. And I don't know how many more were, were brought down. We need to find a way to quell this mob. It's getting out of hand. But where where the rest as much as I hate to say this, where the rest of the flurry? They had to help Jenya. Oh no, I don't know who Jenya is. They, they had to help they had to help uh a woman that was that was knocked to the ground. They're they're back at the tavern right now. It's just it's just me and Klaus. You separated. We had no choice. Klaus, I, I do not see Klaus. How how are you going to keep eyes on them for me, Balthar? Don't worry. We we have it under control. Klaus, I know that you're there. Out of game, I know that you're there. But mm -hmm. Kiana doesn't. She's not aware that you have taken a small elemental form of a cloud. Um, debating whether or not I want to make myself known to her at this exact juncture. Um, After all, he did just hear, how are you going to keep an eye on them? No, I'm going to continue searching the house for now. Sure. Um, continuing to search the house despite all the noise, the ruckus outside, the, the banging and and the crashing, you see a lot of scared tax collectors, um, men and women alike, that were assigned with the task of reaping what very little the common people have sown. Un um. Unfortunately, while they're afraid for their lives, you see some of the half-orcs are kind of reveling in this. They're just waiting on an opportunity to spill blood. Right. Um... As I fly through and take a look at everything, I want to turn on Detect Magic and see if there's any traces of the, the being, um, or anyone that might be related to the summoning of said being. 
looking at the situation, you see a lot of people in here have some rather expensive and somewhat minor magic jewelry on. No one here kind of like reaps of this the summoning magic, but mm -hmm. all of these tax collectors, they're partially nobility. They work right. they work for the wealthier people in town, so some of them have these minor magics to improve their looks or to improve their virility, make sure that they're they're capable and culpable, and none of them really kind of strike out. None of them also have this particular lingering scent of lavender either. Okay. Um, um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say I'm going to head back upstairs to where uh, Balfar and Kiana were. Um, just to be sure, you said when I was tracking the scent, Kiana was the only one who was in front of me? Or she just happened to be in front of me when I was just tracking She was forward. She was charging up the stairs to see what the movement was. Okay, but the scent's not on her, correct? The scent is all around her. The scent is all around everyone at this point. Oh, okay. Okay, just make sure. Um, fuck. If you uh, were if you were out in the wild, this would be a very different story. Yeah. But because of enclosed walls. Um. Yeah. I need to head out there. I need to. I need to calm that mob down. It's. It's getting out of hand. No, trust me, I don't think there's anything that you can do. Find Klaus wherever he is and go back. Get the flurry and believe in the guard. But most importantly, find Tercian. Protect him because he will not be able to do anything about this. These people believe at this point that this is his fault. That he is the reason that these half-orcs are in my town. Balthar, go to him. Go, fool, right, well. go! I'll yell, Klaus, we're leaving. <laughs> Back to Griffins, and then I'll uh, I'll start running, and then I'll uh, use the remaining of my time for my spell to hope leap away okay. to uh, back to the tavern. Sure, give me an acrobatics, and Klaus, I know that you've got fly for probably another five or six minutes. At least, yeah, enough time to get over to the tavern. Fifty-two. Jesus Christ, that's gonna give you a running bonus as well, so fifty-six. Um, in this situation, you guys will make it back in less than a minute's time, clearing the rooftops and with flight. So all in all, the time that has passed, despite the time that has it has taken us to get through this event, it has been th three minutes for the people to make it all the way there. Another minute for Mavu to finally gather up the courage to address the crowd. And then about 45 seconds for all of these actions to undo. So you're looking at less than five minutes. All right. Um, so within 10 minutes, they'll be back at, at the tip tankard. Alrighty. Uh, I'll kick open, well not kick open the door, but I'll open the door as fast as I can. We need to go, we need to go find Tercion now. He's in danger. I'm just going to look at him and, um, why? Let's go. We have no time to talk, and I'm going to turn around and fuck, keep running. I ain't going to wait, bro. I'm going to go to the guardhouse. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll sigh, uh, ask Griffin to take care of Jenny, and then sprint out the door. I will follow. Jared? Okay. Well, I was going to say that during that time, he went ahead and fashioned a plow or something, but no, never mind. Yeah, let, let's just run out into the crowd. I mean, you had five minutes, so technically you, you could have had something um, thrown together. In all seriousness, yeah. what, what, what would your character have really done there? Literally, he would have gone ahead and taken two doors off their hinges, used the hinges to make a join point at the front and used it as a human plow. Okay. Alright, so I got you. I think I'm picturing what you're putting down. Alright. Um, Balthar bounds back out of the door, and before you turn to see him, he actually leaps and clears clears the vertical gap much higher than you had anticipated. Um, either Balthar has some tricks up his sleeve, or he's much, much more capable than he's led on to believe at this point, Sakata and Horum. Um, Klaus, did you go in at all? I wasn't entirely sure. Um, no, I mean, I've, if Balthar was already inside, then I would have just... Um probably waited for him to come back out since I assume we're not staying here and uh, followed him whenever he leaps away. He's just yeah. chilling like the flying Nimbus at this point. Alright. Yeah. 
at this point, essentially, yeah, it was go in, yell, like let's get the fuck on and like, jump back out. Balfar and Klaus is going to move significantly faster. Jared, Horam, and Sagata, you guys will have to battle through the streets at this point. Uh, as you guys begin moving through the streets, uh, Jared is going to be pretty much taking point with uh, this battering ram of doors, I guess, <laughs> whatever yeah. he's managed to fashion. He's a snowplow. Yeah. What's what's that item called? It's called Jim's friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was inspired by the god of Jim. Um, while hey, we're hey, running, I'm going to switch my right? bow to my uh, my Simmons. And it too is going to have the same glowing effect as my uh, bow. Okay. All right. Uh, as you begin moving your way to the town guard, you find that you are met with uh, little obstacles. Uh, Yulgar is not circling overhead. No, I had him hide. Yeah. Yulgar is left nearest Mavu. He is currently perched uh, near a building top, and he's going to be nursing some wounds. Probably not fervently ready to take flight immediately. Mm -hmm. um, but as you dash, Balthar, as you are basically leaping from building to building, Klaus, as you are flying overhead, um, easily matching his speed, uh, if not clearing much faster, because you move at 60 feet, uh, you double move, so you're moving at twice the speed even. Um, as you're moving from building to building, I need perceptions, please, from the both of you. Okay. Very good. 30? Both of you will succeed uh, as you're moving over, despite the random peasants that are kind of like rioting in the town and they're like, they're just basically being like real dickbags, just looting and and, and kicking kicking over things, breaking barrels, uh, you know, just destroying things for the sake of anger and just not entirely knowing what they're doing. You do see that there is a rogue group of individuals that are sprinting down the street. They're moving with a deftness that you haven't seen out of the regular commoner out of a peasant they move in blackened robes and their right arm steeples behind them behind their back is a twisted dagger there are five of them and they're running in the direction of the guardhouse um <laughs> i am gonna draw my heavy shield uh with my scimitar and i'll leap over and then so that way i can stop halt their uh, movement okay So, let's take that initiative. Um, new initiative, please. Do we get to roll in on this one? Yes, you will. Awesome. Which roll was it? Initiative. Initiative. Thank okay. you. Initiative. It's a, it's a will save for you. <laughs> Yay. Fun. <laughs> a knowledge check because you weren't paying attention. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. We've been sitting here for so long. <laughs> Gotta roll a perception. Just <laughs> see if you can hear us. All right, Klaus, what'd you get? Uh, 17. I got a 13. Sakata. 20. Very good. Jared. 17. Very good. Horum. 8. Not as good. Balfar. No, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, 11. 11. Sakata, you're first in initiative. You are 60 feet behind, and you have a small wave of stragglers that are trying to push their way into this... Basically, this this open mobbing area of people that are just hungry for blood. Yeah, I'm gonna be following behind uh, Mr. Door fucking Plow. Okay. Um, you guys will move at third speed. Mm-hmm. A third less than normal, so you're going to be moving at two-thirds speed. So instead of 30 feet around, you're going to be moving at 20. If you move at 20 feet around, you'll move at 14.5 or some something like that, or 14 feet. Something equivalent. Uh, but it's as fast as Jared can go, and Jared is currently dealing with this wave of people. Jared, you know that you're about 60 feet out. You move at two-thirds speed. Yeah, I'm double moving, so that would put me at 40 feet. Okay. You know, next round, you'll be able to get in. If you take a full charge action, you might be able to get in and do something. Uh, Klaus. Klaus, you're up. Okay. Um, 
does Balthar seem to have been able to like stop their forward motion at this point? Or are they still just kind of pushing past him? At this point, he's managed to stop one of the five. He's caught one into melee combat with his shield. The four others, two on the left, two on the right, they sprint past. Okay, um, the ones that sprint past, I am going to call down my Whirlwind on them. Okay. Yeah, boy! Alright, let's see, well, what does Whirlwind do for you? Um, okay, so the effect is a cyclone that is 10 foot wide at the base, uh, 30 foot wide at top, and 30 foot tall. Its duration is one round per level, so it's going to last nine rounds. Um, reflex negates. Uh, spell resistance is a yes, and I believe, hang on, any large or smaller creature that comes in contact with the spell effect must succeed on a reflex save or take 3d6 points of damage. A uh, medium or smaller creature that fails its first save must succeed on a second one or be picked up bodily by the cyclone and held suspended in its powerful winds, taking 1d8 points of damage each round with no save allowed. All right, what is the reflex? Um, that would be... Hang on. It's a... I'm assuming this is the correct roll-in because it's not specified, like it's not linked in the uh, rulebook, but it's the only whirlwind spell in the rulebook. Uh, sure. It's a level 8. Holy shit. Yeah, it's so pretty it's fucking insane. Plus 18, plus your charisma modifier, and if you have any mm -hmm. elemental boosting, do it. So it would be 18 plus 3, 21. So yeah, I guess just the 21. Reflex, reflex save. A reflex negates. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's fucking intense. And here I just thought it went ahead and summoned wider. No, not quite, my friend. Okay, um... You said 21, here we go. Um... It, they're moving at the basically the width of the street, and how wide is it? You said it's 10 feet? 10 feet at the base, yeah. 10 feet at the base. How fast does it move? 60 feet around? Um... Jesus fucking Christ, he's just a fucking tornado with a street. <laughs> How fast does it move? It does, it moves 60 feet around. Hmm. Along the ground or over water at a speed of 60 feet around. That's dope. You concentrate on controlling the cyclones every movement or specify a simple program. Mm -hmm. um, it's a I'm standard gonna... action for you, though. Yeah, okay. uh, to cast it. I'm just gonna tell it to no, on it's, the, it's more than group. just casting. It's it's also directing. Uh, it's You must command it. It's is basically... It? Yeah, it's uh, directing or commanding its movement is equivalent of a standard action for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. No, okay. Otherwise, if you if you let it go uncontrolled, it will dissipate after 1d3 rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say that it could potentially affect two of them. Here's the first, which fucking blows it out of the water. The second... Which also resists. Damn. Those are some high rolls. Yeah. High rolls indeed. So, can it track them? Like, if it keeps, like, barreling in that yeah, direction? Yeah, it, it technically, it, since he's cast it and he is fast like they are, he's moving faster than they are, but the Whirlwind itself, he will always move faster than the Whirlwind because he can double move where the Whirlwind only moves 60 feet total around. Mm -hmm. So, oh, wow. he can command it along the path, They'll just have to keep making saves. Essentially, it's like... <laughs> he became Storm. They're... Yeah. It's a matter of not if, but when. <laughs> Basically. Eventually, they'll fail a save. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alright, so... Perfect. My turn. The two that you would attempt to strike, they had turned and with pivot... They move back and break down two separate alleys. One on the left and one on the right. This leaves two moving directly down the uh, the main street. And they move double. They don't stop whatsoever to look back. They just move with hastened reaction. Balfar, you have one standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. All right, my first strike. He's crouched um, exceptionally low to the ground. He wields only a dagger. You cannot see anything about him other than the fact that he's wielding a dagger. Even his hands are gloved. Okay. Um, seeing that, I will uh, ready myself. Sarens might be with me. And then I will take my first strike down on him. 
21. This is with your shield? No, this is my scimitar. Okay, go my, ahead. Yeah, uh, that's that's good. That'll hit. Yeah, so that's a D. And then it's... Okay, D. Plus two. And then... Merciful damage. And then the... Well, yeah, I didn't call it, so never mind. So merciful damage will be on that one. Uh, second one will have Huntsman on it, though. Uh, second strike will go through. Uh, so it's a D20. Plus... We'll see if it's... Yes. 21. That'll do. Plus two. Merciful. Huntsman. And that would be my... Okay. So it's four. Horum! This is the bottom of the round. Horum, you are moving. You'll not be able to do anything until your next round once Jared breaks through. Top of the line, Cicada. Jared is going to um, break through on this round. I'll have to ready my action then wait for him. You will actually be able to... To charge, you know, you'll be able to charge through and do something. Uh, it looks what like, I... it, yeah, it looks like Balthar has in turn uh, made his way, and he's he's gotten the upper hand over this target. Uh, was he? He's in fight. He's fighting one of them, right? Correct. Because the others ran down the uh, alleyways. Yes. Uh, I guess I'll charge at that one. One of the ones that went down the alley. No, the the one that he's attacking. See if I can come and and uh, give him a hand. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, what's the added to charge? I know it's, it takes away two from my AC next turn. Well, you're not going to... Okay, I or, I know that I declared ahead. charge, but you're not actually going to get the charge bonus. Okay, because people. Yeah, because people. Because they're technically okay. in your way, so you're not going to be able to you get your charge bonus. That I, can, I can expend yes. my round to them. Are we going to okay, just uh, plan on powering through this? Yes, we are going to power through this game. We're not going to take a break. Uh, then, yeah, sure. I'll I've been, just, uh, been thirsting for this game for a while. So, yeah, we're just... We, we got about... Another 50 minutes in us, and I I want to see where we can take this. This will be to attack the one that's uh, with Ronald, standing in uh, in front of him. Does that hit? Yes, what are you attacking with? Uh, my scythe. Alright. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, that, that's uh, gonna hit. Okay, hold on. Uh, damage. I need to redo my macros, I forgot to adjust. And then... 31. Wow, okay. Um, you step in, and the moment that you connect, you manage to bring your scythe downward, and as you cut through what little armor is beneath the robe itself, you manage to also slice through the flank, and you cut his leg off at the hip. <laughs> his body falls. <laughs> Balthar... You see viciousness in the strike of Sakata. You clearly have the upper hand of this target who was only armed with a dagger, yet Sakata has come through and entirely removed the leg from this person with one swift motion. Just um, looking at him. Jared. Look, if you didn't want me to just murder... Well, I can't. No, that that was like, you would swing, and as, that, yep. as the leg fell, that was the end of the round. Yep. Now Jared, I'm... you're up. All right, now we've got the one that Sakata and Balthar are both around. Yes. One's going to the right, one's going to the left, and two straight ahead. Yes. Uh... And it's very clear that these are people that we're interested in. For some reason or another, yeah. You've been led to believe that you need to go see Tercyon. And interestingly enough, on your way to Tercyon, you found a rogue group of individuals in black robes running with daggers. Now, they might be Weird Al fans. Maybe. Not entirely <laughs> sure. Uh, I think what I'll do is... God, and I got this... Ah! 
there's an idea. Since I know I can't go ahead and run them down, I want to go ahead and throw my door device in front of the alley that the one on the right's going down. Oh, okay. So you basically want to try to cut off his movement. Um, all right. So. Yeah, I basically just want to go ahead and like whip that door thing up and like fling it at him, try and trip him up. Give so me trip him up or block the wall. D twenty plus dexterity modifier plus your attack, your base attack bonus. Oh, so do a ranged attack. Yeah, I need to you're, like this is this is about door at this is about accuracy at this point. This isn't about damage. I figure if you threw a double door at someone, you'd probably knock them over if they weren't expecting it. 26. Holy nice. shit. Nice. Good hit, man. Well done. Um, yeah, as he's 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 looking over his shoulder the opposite side to see his ally sprinting down the alley. The moment you heave this door with everything that you've got, uh, it manages to cover it just at the angle in a way that sends him sprawling end over end. I'm going to give him a reflex save. He does not recover. You see him skitter and fall prone into the alley. He's out of your field of view, but you do know that he's fallen prone. Uh, yeah, I'll... You'll be able to move up there yeah. and see him, and that's it. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and, like, run up, get ready to go ahead and wail ass. Fifteen feet into the alley, you see him prone on the ground. He's attempting to stand. Klaus, you're up. All right, I'm going to continue to try to pick these guys up in their woolwind. Which one are you targeting? Um, they're all running down the same main street, aren't they? The one that went left and right? They're not. They okay. they, they broke they from the main off. path. Yeah. Then, um, whoever's closest to reaching the guardhouse at this point. Okay. You target the whirlwind there. And I'm going to give them their saves now, okay? Go for it. They a both fail. They now need to both succeed on their second save or be picked up. Okay. That's a nat right, 20. Success. That's a critical fail. And failure. Cool. So one's nice. picked up. The other just takes uh, 3d6. Well, they both take 3d6, but... One of them's caught. Um, right. Uh, do you want to roll that damage, or should I? You go ahead and roll it. It's your spell. Right. Let's see what you got. Max damage. Damn. Nice. Good. good hit, man. And... Six. Not as good, but still damage. Yeah. Uh, the one that manages to break free as he seemingly throws his robes behind him that seems to also get caught up in this whirlwind, uh, you see that he throws down the dagger, and as he stoops lower into the ground he almost begins to pick up in pace. Like, he's moving, like, cannonball run style. His body is close to the ground. And the way that he's just barreling through the streets, it seems like there's something more at work here. Definitely some kind of magic at play. Um, my turn. My target is gonna stand up from the ground, and he's going to hold his action in defensive, partial defensive against Jared. The other target, down the left alley, becomes unseen. He's not there. One of them continues to spin end over end inside of this whirlwind. Does he get a save for the record? Nope. No, no save, save allowed. He's just in there that until sucks. the world Welcome to the face. wind dome. Uh, the other seems to barrel down the street at an unnerved <laughs> Jesus shit! Dude, sorry bub for the spook. Did you get spooked again? <laughs> sure did. Wait, Even dude, spooking. sorry, bub, for the spoop. <laughs> what a message! Steve, God, you're such a cock. Oh God! All right, guys. I like how he's so intense and so into the moment, then he's just like, "Shut up, a bitch." <laughs> we we hit a thousand guys. We're at sixty-six percent. Hey, one k. Uh, yes, someone donated for an even amount. That's that's correct, Ranston. Yes, um, he just barrels down the street with everything that he has. He's moving at a speed that's quite akin to the cloud that is Klaus. Well, that was a lot of alliteration there. For, forgive me. Uh, Balthar, yes. Balthar, you were up. Um, okay, I think Klaus can take that guy. Uh, the one that banked down the alleyway, I want to track his scent and follow. Sure, give me perception. 
and I'll use my Huntsman ability. No, it's I can't. That's only going to be on. Um, perception is going to be twenty-four. That Jesus, why, why you do this, Fukuyama, the troll. Thank you very uh, much, Fukuyama. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That's very good. Uh, you are in fact able to pick up a scent. All right. I'm gonna leap as hard as I can and fucking just run, run them down. Well, would I be able to leap far enough to to? Well, I like tracking a scent. Would I be able to leap far enough to uh, get an attack in on him if I was close to the gap? Uh, like no, that? because. He was running away at this point. Like it's it's okay. your acrobatics because I mean let's just see what you get on acrobatics first and foremost. Watch me get like a forty-seven. Nope. Forty-four. <laughs> Forty-four. Plus. You're not gonna get a running bonus. Okay. You were basically at standstill at that point. Um. Okay. So every four feet is the equivalent vertically as, uh, or excuse me, every four numbers is equivalent to one feet vertical. So you basically leap eleven feet directly into the air. And at an angle at the same time. So yeah, you're able to clear uh, a roof quite easily. Uh, as you spring up on top of the roof and you begin sprinting across it, um, you move all the way across the building itself, post the jump, and before you can make it downward or to another acrobatic, um, any kind of acrobatic move whatsoever, you see that he's actually broke across the second alley. Um, he's fast. He's quite fast. Alright, it's time to go Rangar status on him and... Can I double move? Like a double, another jump? Your, ac your acrobatics is going to count as a move. Going across the roof is going to be another move. I'll do that then. Okay. That is your full round. Uh, Horum! I want to go straight for the guardhouse. Um, is it just a straight stretch from where we are? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not very far at this point. Then yeah, I'd like, I want to full sprint as fast as I can go. Which isn't that fast, but it's fast enough. Okay. I just, I, I just want to get to the guardhouse. You're just going to double move. Yep. Double move. Very good. Um, You are up, Sakata. I was actually planning on doing the same thing and running over to the guardhouse. Because uh, I heard that's where we had to book it to double time. Yep. Okay. Uh, very good. Jared, you're up. All right. Now, you said he's less than 15 feet away. And he's on the ground currently? Or is he just about to get to his feet? He's, he's, uh, he's at his feet. He's, he's taking a partial defensive. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and run up and grapple him. All right. So Let's see what grapple. you got. Do you have improved grapple? No. So this is going to prompt an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Not great. That's not excellent. You're right. Um, let's see. What is your AC? I'm curious. My AC is 25. That's not gonna do. Uh, he tries to take an attack on you, but it fails. You manage to hit, hit the number, even or odd in your favor. Uh. Odd. Even. You're unable to. All you right. try to grapple him, and you just can't seem to do it. Like, he, he takes a swing at you, but he maneuvers away from you. Like, he's he's incredibly dexterous. That's technically, right. that's technically a standard action. You have a move. Oh, no, I moved up to him. He was 15 Oh, that's right, that's right. He was. He was, in fact. Oh, yeah, that's my full action. That's your, yeah, that's you your know, full the round. Dance, yeah, the dance starts. Okay. Klaus. Unless it counts as... One of me. No, never mind. Yeah, trying trying to initiate the grapple itself is is gonna count as your standard. Klaus, use up. All right, I'm gonna target the guy that got away, um, and continue to hurt the guy that's in there. Okay. You just you just fucking <laughs> that guy being, up. <laughs> just one dude's being dragged by a wall, and the other one's being chased down by one. <laughs> Here's the one uh, d8 for the guy that's in there. Good. Ooh, six damage. Very good. Um, you know at this point, with the way that the whirlwind is moving, it's actually not moving fast enough to capture this target. In okay. fact, as you um, peer back and you see Horam and Sakata moving at their full speed, 
they're not going to be able to catch up to this target either. Okay. Um, would you consider my instruction for it to just follow this one guy to be simple to where it's not consuming my standard action for the turn? Um, it depends on what he tries to do, and that kind of falls on your shoulders. Like, what if he tries to break into a building, and then it follows them into, like, someone in the lower caste building, and it starts picking up peasants and murdering them? Right. Um, you could just have it go down the road or stand still. But bear in mind, yeah. Klaus, give me perception. Okay. There it is. 25. Uh, you've managed to have this clear 60 feet while only capturing these targets. Not more than 40 feet ahead as he's broken by them. There are more peasants that are rallying down the street to join the angry mob. Yeah, that could be messy. Um, yeah, the blender that is your spell here. <laughs> that could be really messy. Um, yeah, uh, if I know that it's not going to be able to catch the last running guy that I am following at this point, then I'm just going to have it sit and spin cycle the guy that's already caught in there. Okay. Uh, it will continue to do that. And unfortunately, he's going to meet an untimely death. I think, even if you roll minimum at this point, um, there's not going to be much left of his uh, equilibrium whatsoever. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, the 1d8 was the damage of the round, so... Okay. You're just going to command it to sit there, then. So that's going to... Yep. Uh, it's going to be a command. It's a standard action. You technically still have a move. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to follow the... Um, the escaping... cloaked man, sure. whatever he is. Sure, sounds good. Um, my turn. Oh boy, Jared, Jared, Jared. What is your CMD? My CMD? Yeah. So for 9,000. Uh, close. 29. Okay, here we go. I failed. I failed. You get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> an attack of op. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and have him... Oh, wait. Can I initiate a grapple as an attack of opportunity, or is that just straight? No, you're not going to be able to. You, 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 I mean, if you're not trying to kill him, you can just punch the shit out of him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do, is just sock him in the teeth. See if you can make him cry by punching him in the nose. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and punch him with a power attack. Go for it. Power attack, final by, strike. Final strike. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so I dope. punch him in the kidney so hard they explode. He's fine. <laughs> Well, Hajime no, I, I, I don't think you can go ahead and vital strike. I don't think you can. Attack I, of opportunity. I, no. Yeah, no. That's a standard. I also, straight up I also don't think you can vital strike without a weapon. I could be wrong, but I think you have to I have mean, a weapon. You could punch with the vitals. People have died from being punched before. You just, no, you see just his fist start, like, vibrating. Well, if, his like, fist, if, you, if his fist oh! has weapons, then yes, he can. <laughs> this guy goes to flip over him, and you just hear Jared go... Bunkai. <laughs> well, first things things first. Let's out. see if it hits. Sure, let's I see. I think it's more like bunk. Please nat twenty. I've never wanted you to nat twenty harder right now. Eighteen break his AC. That is not going to break his AC. <sighs> but okay. it will meet his AC. Oh, this is it. Even or odd, odd, Jared. Odd. Odd. Ooh, yes. nice. Knock him out. The pewter oh. attack. Oh, now to calculate the damage. Hurt him in the face. Um, let's see. So that is a D three. He took your germ. Well, no, that's the D three. Yeah, but yeah, now I gotta the... go ahead and calculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus... At your level, it's gonna be uh, plus your strength modifier plus four. Power attack. Plus four. Yeah. Well, it was also a power attack, so plus nine Dude. damage. No, that's what that's what I'm saying. It's going to be your strength modifier plus four because the four is your power attack. Remember, it's just a one-handed, right, one-handed. Right, I've, I've got it calculated for two-handed damage. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, can I just go ahead and? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> fucking like. <laughs> okay. Strength plus four. <laughs> All right, so fucking crack him over the head. So your strength is uh, plus six. So six. Yep. It's, it's whatever. It's plus plus ten. Plus 10 yeah. 
minimum damage. You know, that's that's enough. As he tries to flip over the top of you to try to get a uh, basically a structural point behind you, so he can start rending you from behind. You catch him mid-flight, and as you like fucking shack foo him out of the air, he just continues to spin as he just just drops down in a heap at your feet. You've knocked him unconscious. All right, and I'm going to take the opportunity to use my apron straps and tie him up. Spin him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tie him up with my apron straps. Thank you so much, Leah, for making that a thing. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, yeah, you want to go ahead and say <sighs> dex for the binding? or I mean, he's going to tie this guy up, throw him over his shoulder, and start going to treat C. Tercyon. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, give me a dex, please. D20 plus your dexterity modifier. All right, so. Oh, my God, the apron came in clutch. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, um, back over here to uh, Balthar and his targets. Of course, Alrighty. I critical fail. Um, Balthar, give me perception. Description check. Very good, Balthar. Thirty-three. Um, seeing you over the top, he begins to panic, and as he kind of looks left and right, he leans into an alley just out of your view. And as he dips down this alley, you hear something crash and clutter, and then a, a dog and a cat run out from this alley itself. Alrighty. I want to... Uh, not, yet. Yet. not your turn yet. Not yet. Not okay. your turn just yet. Um, the target continues to spin inside of the Cyclone of Death. The other guy is dead at this point. He was already on low hit points, and then the removal of the thigh down was enough to, to do him in, unfortunately. And then you have the target who is basically ninja sprinting down the street. He's Naruto running. That's why Klaus, I perception, speed. please. Twenty-two. As this human cannibal moves at breakneck speeds, he beelines directly into the front of the guard captain's house, where two orcs try to bring down their halberds simultaneously to bring this this figure in half. You see nothing happen, but them just cross halberds, and it catch into the dirt itself. Yeah, nothing's happened. That's not good. Um, how far am I out from the guardhouse at this point? You'll be able to get into the guardhouse on, at the end of your next round. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hightail it into there. Um, but Balfour, first, the damage. Yes. yes, yes, give me damage. Balfour, you are next. Alright. Um, hearing points. that, I want to I want to see what happened. I'm assuming he fell, right? Uh, do you charge into the alley? Uh, well, I'm still on rooftop, aren't, aren't I? Yeah, but you are, you're your full round out. Then, yeah, I'll charge into the alley. Leaping downward, or do you stay on top of the roof? No, I was going to say, can I... Uh, well, would I be able to make an attack by this time, or no? It's just going to be enough to move into the alley. No, it's, it's just going to be enough for you to move in and potentially spot him. Okay, then yeah, I'll jump into the alley. And okay. Then I'll... Sure. Uh, as you jump into the alley and sprint for the rest of your round, give me perception, please. 37. Awesome. Uh, as you sprint into the alley itself, you realize that this figure has poorly attempted to disguise and hide himself. Uh, where there are multiple bits of, like, crate that has been destroyed, there is one singular wine barrel that seems to be on its side, and you just see uh, a pair of, of tabbies hanging out the end of it. He, he, he doesn't think I see him right now? Currently does not. He's okay. basically... You just see the bottom side of his tabbies, his brown tabbies, just hanging out of, of the back of this this uh, wine barrel. Alrighty. Um, but that's your round. That's you moving yeah. up. That close. Uh, Horum! I'm still heading for the front door of the guardhouse. Very good. Sakata. Uh, have I reached uh, the guard place? Not yet. Oh, then um, I'm going to keep moving it towards the fucking guard place. Horum's like all of 10 feet in front of you at this point, And okay. you guys sprint by the whirlwind of now what appears to be mostly meat and blood. It's uh, it's like they said, gonna I'm going to slowly lean into my run. And you're going to see my arms extend behind me. Sweet. And then as he falls face first into the dirt, I'm going to run, keep running, and not pay attention to him. 
Look, it, it makes you faster. Trust me, I saw it in anime. Take it easy, Ranson. Have a good one, brother. Have a good night. Um, Shotgun activated. Jared! I have to adjust my head, man, before I start running, guys. Hold on. Uh, at this point, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just double move with a body over my shoulder. Yeah, I'm going to be behind everybody, but yeah, I'm going to keep my keep my load. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. It does sound bad. It sounds horrible all the way around. Klaus! It's me. You're up. I'm going to move into the guardhouse. Klaus, as you charge into the guardhouse, your round will end with you entering into the door where you will see the silhouette of a figure that appears to be significantly larger than the man that you were chasing. It moves to my turn. That's damn good. He's cutting through the wind like he's in shower. What's going on? <laughs> Ooh, that's eight. Okay, we got numbers. Minimum damage. Minimum damage. You see this person, uh, as you've moved all the way into this room, there is a vicious sword blow as Tercion picks up his his sword. This isn't the first time you've seen the sword, but it's certainly the first time that you've seen him swing his sword at another man. And as he swings it, it's all too familiar. Just like Jared, you can tell that they come from the same family, or at least were taught by the same man. Uh, and as he swings, the man is blown back into the rear wall. Uh, he takes 16 points of damage as this huge, this enormous swath is cut across his chest, uh, barreling into the armor itself, seeming to split it open, flaying him like, like fish. Skillerai! 16 points of damage? God, my brother's a pussy. Yeah, well, he also rolled minimum. Balthar! Yes. Balthar, uh, you're up. I know we only have, like, six words, but seeing as he's, like, the last guy alive, cool if I'd go a little cinematic with this. Floor is yours. I mean, technically, words. the free action is six words, but if you use your full round, it's thirty-six words. Never mind. Um, so like slowly walking towards the the crate, I'll uh, have the scimitar in my hand, and like as I kind of get to the side where, I'm just, like I see, like I see him hiding. Poor man, I'm a bugbear. Hunting's easy, and then I'm just gonna slice through the uh, the crate and strike him. Sure, go ahead and make an attack. Please crit fail. Please crit fail. Like, I don't know where you are. Twenty six. Honestly, I was expecting to be like one thousand years of death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they shall know. Uh, I use my hand signs and I use planetary death on, uh, <laughs> on him. Jesus Christ! Go ahead, give me damage. I did uh, my Rinnegan before I uh, start my round. Eight, 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 plus two. Eight. And then it's for Merciful. Man, thank and God you're Huntsman. rolling like balls. Yeah. Uh, second attack. Eight plus. This one is plus. Wait, I didn't think your Huntsman worked unless you hit him once already. Or am I thinking no, of something as different? Long as, I tra as long as I decide to track, he, gain he gets gotcha. that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then this one's plus seven. Seventeen. That's, He's prone though, that's, so it's gonna hit. Yeah, it's that's gonna hit. Okay. Go, go, go on, go on. Do, do the thing, man. Do the thing. That's two. What is with my rolls? D six. Be nice to people and fucking get fucked over. There we go. All right. Look at that. He's taking a substantial amount of damage. Uh, he lies, uh, clutching at himself, wounded. Wounded, sir. Um, Horum. Yep. Yeah, um, would I be able to make it into the room in time? 
Um, let's to see. To see Tercyon fucking deliver a shattering death blow? I hope so. You <laughs> will not be able to make it into the room because oh. you are met by two very angry and disgruntled half orcs. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. And they hate it. half orcs. <laughs> Not, not the half orc race, just these two in particular. <laughs> <laughs> New ranger ability unlocked, hated race words. <laughs> <laughs> Targeted race. Um, yeah, it's no longer. I, I don't. Will I get any words, or is this after my double move? I would be. No, that's, this is. Guys. You basically you move 30 feet, and you're there. You have three seconds. So technically, you've got 18 words. But okay, you can tell they are prepared to get frisky. You got teeth bearing, Gross. lips furling like a bear. They're angry. Uh, I want to say, move! I must get to Tarsian. That's poor choice of words. Okay. Perfect. You'll, <laughs> Don't attack me. You'll hear. <laughs> I, I, the High King of Skyrim, move aside. You'll hear one look at you with with furling lips, like get through me first. Sakata. So Tercyon's on the battlefield. That's that's correct. Well, uh, he's in his office, but yes. Okay. Uh, are, so have me and any reached it yet? Or are we still running around? Well, any got there. Okay, and that would mean that I'm not too far behind him. Ten feet, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stand up to him and. Once we finally stop, I'm going to ask him, so why are we actually here again? What are we... Did you get a memo? Because I didn't get a memo. <laughs> you're, you're muted, buddy. I was just told he to just... talk to Also, why am I push to talk? Uh, and then I I guess I abstain my turn until either Klaus or Balthar comes down and tells us what the fuck we're doing at the guardhouse besides just being here. Sure. Because I like, I like, you know, loitering, but I prefer to do it not near the city guards. Personally. Jared! I'm assuming that having been behind them, this movement, I'm probably going to end up like 30 feet away. Um, like, about, yeah. But yeah, if I'm just kind of like walking up, I'll call ahead. Guard the doors with, them. guard the doors with them. Guard the doors with the doors. No, guard, guard the doors with the half words. Somebody call for Tercyon. That's it. Okay. That's my move. Klaus. Um. So Tercyon cut down the only one that actually made it here so far that we know of, right? Yeah, he's not dead though. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He oh. just hit the wall with a giant gash in his chest. Yep. Or um, in the building. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Um, uh, I'm going to hit him with the chakram. Sure, go for it. Oh, dude, that's so dope. A wind thing using a chakram. <laughs> just a circular blade flying out of a cloud. <laughs> when it shoots off, it's going. Little... And then you just boom, and it's gone. Fifteen. Fifteen is not going to hit. Didn't think so. Fifteen oh is not going to hit. Oh my god, the flying Nimbus missed. Yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly expected to it's use a cloud, weapons. Not a, it's a cloud, not mist. All right. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Do you have anything else that you'd like to do there, Klaus? Um, no. no I'm good. Perfect. Uh, on my turn, you see the man draw another dagger from his belt, and he attempts to charge in to make an attack when he's met again with the most sincere opposition of Tercyon <laughs> Scalering. It's like he gets up and Tercyon just goes, <laughs> Tercyon, however... Oh no, excuse me, that was his attack. Tercyon's gonna fucking wow. retaliate on him. Uh, let's see. 1d100. Dun, 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 dun. That's a low roll. Nine? <laughs> he bleeds himself out. <laughs> Fumble. Stabs himself and then dies. 
parry, spin, dodge, spin, thrust, spin. He is dazed until the end of the next turn. Oh, wow. As he attempts to dodge the blow, he just continues spinning like a top in combat. Like the other guy. So it's like he's like panic dodging right now? He's just too scared to do anything else? Trying to, but it doesn't matter. And Tercion's just kind of like, wait for it, wait for <laughs> it, wait, now! 21 <laughs> points of damage. Wow. As he mollywops him, bringing him down with a secondary blow. Klaus, you see him basically turn into a heap on the floor. Bleh. I am yeah. going to cut combat right there. All right. Um, can I cut down the other one, the one that's uh, hiding, to knock him out? Yeah, 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 that's fine. All right, so I'll just take my, my skimmy, and then right as he tries to get up, I'll just stab him and stab him in the chest and be like, all right. Okay. I, this. I also have two sets of manacles and would like to cuff the two that we have instead of, you know, uh, an apron and nothing at the moment. <laughs> oh, shit. So I gotta ask, for the merciful weapons that I carry, would it leave markings on them, like like bluish outlines where they've been cut, or like you just don't... I've gotta, I've gotta do a little bit more reading on it. I'm not entirely yeah, sure how, how it has the its effects. Weapons okay. read, all it does um, is just... Jared, move your, move your mic closer to your face, please. You're a little... Okay. Far away. Oh, sorry about that. But from what I've read about Merciful, it doesn't do anything special like marking the targets or anything like that. All it really does is make all your damage straight well, up. Well, that's a dual. That, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, because like, they wouldn't be bleeding out because I would kill them on you. Like, it's got to do something, you know what I mean? I, I got a bow. Out. I got a bow that was Merciful, and the way I handled it was I basically fired a, an arrow with a boxing glove on the end of it. And it would just strike them as if I had punched them from range when I had whatever character it was so long ago. The way, like, the way I would see it is like the web, like the actual like arrow shatters and it's just like a blue light for the arrow when it, when it shoots them. And then for like the scimitar, if it cuts them, it, like where they would be cut, it would be the same thing, like, like a bluish outline. Well, you know, you can play with whatever flavor you yeah. like. Well, just, let's do it like that. So uh, I will uh, take this guy. Do I have... Do I have ROP on me? I have... I'm going to use my skinning kit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Good God. Play him alive. Can I use Can I use the rope from my climber's kit to uh, tie him up? Sure, that's fine. Uh, he's right, unconscious, so, so I'm not going to make you roll for it. It's fine. You'll get, you'll get him just right. fine. Um, um, I want to grab the other guy as well. Because Jared, I believe, punched the shit out of one of them. Oh, he was carrying he's, him. Jared's already got oh, him. Okay. So then I'll just take this guy and fucking head over to Tercion. Sounds yeah, good. I'm gonna pull that scene like out of you know. Yeah, just like no, this is mine. That's yeah. yours. This is mine. <laughs> so, uh, so, walking up with a bandit in tow. Oh, does he have any papers or anything on him? No. Any markings? No. Okay. Nothing. Not, uh, he is adorned with a singular half mask tattoo uh, just below his right ear. It is blackened, and it is the mark of the last laugh. Okay. All right. That's so, uh, the only identifying marks that covers that the has entire on. body. Okay. But so, yeah, yeah, getting upstairs, I'm going to end up just tossing my body down in front of the desk and dropping into a seat, propping my boots up on him, making friends as always I see, Tercion. Making friends? He charged in here as if he had something important to say, and when I saw a blade, I figured they weren't kind words. So I stood and I answered in the only way I knew how. With a bigger sword, of course. <laughs> well, it's good to know we have a common language. It's the only language in this well, family. Sword. Sword, sword, sword. Balthar, Klaus, Sakata, you guys can all roughly arrive at the same time if you're not already there. Yeah. Uh, when we get there, I'll drop, uh, I'll drop the, the guy... Right in front of Tercion. You might want to ask him a few questions if you get the chance. Oh, good. Now we've got. He's two. alive. That's that's perfect. Thank you. He seems incredibly the... disinterested. He's very aloof. You don't seem altogether surprised by all this. 
I'm not really surprised by anything in this town anymore. Well, people trying to kill you isn't a daily occurrence, I should hope. When you're the town guard, of course. This is a common occurrence. Especially the captain. Who do you think they blame for all of these half-orcs working? Do you think they blame it on... on... Belentru? Do you think they blame it on... on anyone else? No, no, it's it's me. They have been rather vocal about it, yes, I'll give you that. Kiana I... sent us, by the way. She seems to be the only loyal person to be working for me at this point. I hope my help counts for something. It's useful, but if you can't... If you can't bring this town... Anyway, I mean, honestly, let's be real. I've, I've been, I've been here in this position for a long time, and I've seen my fair share of things that I wish I hadn't. Well, you two seem rather chummy. This is Balthar. Have you not met yet? Once or twice. We just brought him into town. So it seems. He looks away. Regardless, at least you have two bodies you can question. Now, about this whole orc business, is this supposed to be something long-term? Because the people don't seem fond of it one bit. Well, I'm not exactly fond of it myself, but what can I do? I believe well, there are more pressing matters on hand than who composes the guard, such as the riot at the town hall. I've I've got reports. I've sent everyone out into the field. I've got my best working on it. Not to mention the creature that attacked us there. Wait, there was a creature there too? So it's not just the orcs and the, the normal people fighting? No. Or are you calling yeah. the orcs creatures? I looked, at, right. I looked at Tercyon. There was a summoning circle. Uh, la heavy lavender was used in, in its summoning. Another summoning circle? This time it targeted Mavu himself. Wait, Mavu as in the district, the, the the trading owner. It works at the trading house. Why would it target Mavu? What was he done? I couldn't say, but the last time we saw one of these circles was when the Umber Hulk attacked, and it originated from Mavu's trading post. It killed his daughter. Oh, right. Well... Seems that that's come full circle. Interesting to see what that's about. I say we let it play out. What's the worst that could happen? More innocents die? I would say that's that's pretty bad. It probably um, is pretty bad, but I'm, stre I'm basically stretched a little thin at this point. There's not really a lot I can do. True. Matter, but, one could argue that you're almost helpless. Now, if only you had some people you could trust out in the field. I know, it's the strangest thing. If there was only anyone here that I trusted. I'm going to turn as to not make eye contact with the other Oh, I'm just going to wave. <sighs> well, okay. Did you see how the violence started? For the riots, yes. These gents right here, well, not these ones in particular, but men cloaked like them with daggers similar to theirs, moved up, started stabbing at the guard. They took down that young boy and uh, the man that was being, I'm assuming, drained of his life force. So in short, the last, last, you know, the last laugh is involved in this somehow. I, I would always get to the point that uh, the last last started this all as some kind of plot to kill, if not a particular person, then several. Tercyon, um, if you don't mind, I have a request to make, though it might seem like a rather large... Please, be my guest. Just demand away. Is there any way you could 
pull the, the mercenaries from your, your guard. No, no, I, ca I can't. If Why I could, I, I would have. The town nobles, those that are in charge, the diplomatic board. The people to, who make the decisions. I look, right. I'll look back over to Klaus. We need to get back to the town hall then. Agreed. But first, Kersion, we need any and all information you may have on the last laugh. If they're truly trying to uproot the city and send the people into a frenzy, then we must take them down. They've got ulterior motives, motives here. Look, the left have been a pain in my ass the entire time that I have been guard captain. But they have never once struck in this manner in a way to personally come for me. Sure, they may have hurt people in the town, but never to this degree. They've never killed anyone. They're, they're no. small fish in the big pond that is Cauldron. Then we need to figure out who they're working for, why they're trying to create a power vacuum. Who has to gain from your death? Who would who would supersede you should you fall? <laughs> no idea. Probably uh, his lieutenant, but she's Kiana, not interested. Kiana would probably take my spot. And Kiana doesn't seem the sort to go ahead and plot your death, unlike some people in the room. We and can't rule anyone of, out. I'll just kind of look at Cicada and Klaus. What was Mavu's move? You said that he was... He was there. He led he the was, people. Yeah. Led the people to what? To the taxation? To the town hall. He started to rally them, and then that's when the last laugh moved in. And What could he possibly say to rally the people in such a way that could draw them to strike out against their common man? He challenged you. He, he challenged me. What is Mavu? Is he even fit to run... Such a swarthy brand of, of people? No, he, he barely he was a He wasn't the fighter. What do you the mean? The paladin was of St. Cuthbert. Alec, I believe, was the name that you gave me. Paladin of St. Cuthbert? Alec, uh... Tercival, I believe, was the name that you gave? Tercival? Wait, 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 Correct. wait, wait. Hold, hold on. What, what do you mean? I've been challenged under... Under what authority do they even have? They said uh, the authority of the peers, I believe, was something to akin to that. What does that mean? The peers? Wait, that doesn't... That can't still exist. That's not been enforced in... Oh, God. Tercion, you've done a very good job vocally the past few minutes stopping now is a bad omen can you please inform what's going on it's the law of the old peers what Jared, is it? don't you remember father used to talk about it all the time men of equal station duels to the death that kind of thing yeah, yeah. that's exactly right but at this point it's bloodline it's founding fathers of the town and the Skellerings were one of the original few to found Cauldron. Perc How the mighty fall, huh? Tercival is a founding, a founding follower. A Tercival resurrected this town. So he wishes to challenge me. I say bring it. I allow him... To step to me. To be fair, looking on your handiwork, I think you have very little to worry about, but more to point, is he up to the tents? Terci I'm wait, Tercival is old. He is weakened. My point being, is the goal here to actually kill you, or is it just to discredit you by you actually going through with this? Well, think of it from this standpoint. If he kills this Tercival, how does that view? How does that view in the Skellerans, the other founder of of this town? What happens with his death? Not necessarily 
a scala ring losing their life. This is a lose lose for you. You kill a paladin, then you're on a bad side with anyone that is either holy or on their side. And if you don't, you die, which is also a negative. To be fair, Horum, if if we're challenged under these rules, we must act. It's we don't have an option. I'm so aware. You're gonna really turn away. But no matter which way it goes, you're going to cause an uprising. Which is the issue? The god captain kills a religious figure. Ways of old are not. No one sits quiet with that. So what do you propose that I do? Do I sit here on my hands and allow him to walk into this town and drop me like I'm some ancient oak? No. Well, I he would is request suing that you for wait. control. Look, the point is, we need we need time, and I know it's not something that. We but I think we can talk to the nobles, as rattled as they are, given the riots that are going about. Fixing this issue of taxation would probably be the first step in quieting people down. The second step would be getting the orc mercenaries out. Once things have quieted down, not only will that give us more food to move throughout the children, but. It would reduce the chances of disappearances. Listen, everything will blow over on this day. The the events that have happened... I, am, I imagine that there are some things that I have to clean up, but... This town needs help. And I feel as if I've been pushed to my limits. I feel weathered, old, tired. I, I don't have the youth that I used to to defend Cauldron. Because it's fighting against itself. It doesn't want to sustain like it used to. I, I don't know. Let me ask you something. Given the title ship, the bloodline that all of you own, you can... You, you battle it out for control for wherever wants, I guess, control of the guard captain, control of the city, whatever plot of land you're fighting over. Can you yourself move title ship to someone else? No. No, I was elected against my desires. Unfortunately, this is something that I have been stuck with. I am an heir to the throne of duty. It would have been mine if I'd stuck around, I know. Yes. But you've taken to the task well enough. So Well enough. I suggest Well this. enough. You say well enough. You know I could have had a family. I could have had people that have cared for me. Kiana only joined because I needed help. And thank God she is here. Because my throat would have been slit a million times over at this point. Do you know what it's like to try to rid the locals of their drug problems? How fast that they will turn on the common man? I, I, they call me their brother now, but then, it's not the same, Jared. Thank God I was here to take up the mantle. You, you ruined my life. But you my by brother. Accident, you, purely by accident. You are That having my been said, as a brother, let us help. Let's take some of the weight off your shoulders. The last laugh. Let us, you know, let us put our attentions in that direction. Yes, most everywhere we go, a line of bodies will follow. But at least if we're directing our attention to the last laugh, their bodies worth dropping. They're not the innocent citizenry. And it does feel like the last laugh is involved in directing these actions towards you and the Lord Mayor. Let us take a little of the load off your shoulders. For now, see if you can't dissuade this fight. Or at least put it off until we get to the bottom of this. You want to help? Good luck finding the last laugh. 
They don't come out for anyone other than themselves. They're like little rats. But if you want to find someone that is clearly out in the open, find Mavu. This wouldn't have happened today. People wouldn't have died had Mavu not stood and harped these feelings. He harbors them. Well, to be frank, he harbors them because of the involvement of the flurry. I know it's not your fault. I was there. Kiana was there. We saw it, but... I'm gonna hold up my hand and wait to be acknowledged. He looks at you. Do you just want to talk to him? Do you, do you need him here? Like, what, what what's... He, little, he little... doesn't want to talk with me. He wants nothing to do with a skellering by blood. Yeah, but if I pick him up and drag him over here and sit him in a chair... Will you talk to him? Do you, yes. His work is done. He's said his piece. He's stated everything that could be happened. The only thing you can do is try to talk him down. And I personally don't have anything against Mavu. You should probably speak with him. Look, Sakata. Again. There's no need for you to act out in violence, especially was... with what happened back there. I could, I could have taken that target. There was no oh. need for you to cut him down. I'm sorry. When you tell me to run to a place and I see people with weapons, I'm sorry. My first instinct as a warrior is to fight. My bad. Next time, I'll walk away. I can understand not killing someone in cold blood who's already on the ground, but if there's a person who's still fighting... Guess what I'm going to do? <sighs> this isn't for show. I don't walk around this and punch people with my fists. <clears throat> if you were maybe a little bit more articulate, maybe if you said in the bar, hey, there's an issue at the guard's house. We need to be there. By the way, there might be guards out. Maybe there's people that we shouldn't be killing. No, you just ran off in front of me, not giving me any information, and you expect me to not attack people that I see attacking my friends? Fair enough. As for the violence with the person who I just said I'm going to literally pick up and bring over here, it doesn't have to get violent. That's why I just wanted to ask. I Believe didn't it just... or not, Balthar, violence is not our first line of attack on any situation. Just happens to be the usual resolution we find ourselves having to resort to. Well, we did pretty decently today. We've apprehended two members. I would say that we could chalk that up as a win. More often than not, I'm sending bodies to the coroner faster than he can dig graves for them. Speaking of, we still have to see the coroner. So, that can wait. We need to talk we, to the nobles first. Start with Mavu. With him inciting these riots, with him inciting this problem. Hell, it sounds as if it's even his idea to incite the warrant for my head. Start with Mavu. Very well. Start with him and we work our way through the other nobles, but... Oh, I'm not just, a politician, but this I'll, taxation issue is a problem. It is entirely a problem, and I've already been informed too much. And I can be honest with you now. The taxation will not cease for yet another three months. I don't know why they are doing this. They are not going without. There is plenty of food to go around. The town was getting better. And then out of nowhere, this taxation. This is... This is unheard of. Not since I have sat in this seat. Has this ever happened? So I don't know. I don't know their play. Well, I suppose then we just have to go up and ask. In the meantime, you stay here. And do stay safe. Maybe have Kiana nearby. 
seems the kind of night where throats get cut. Well, until then, I'll just kick back. And he throws his chair onto two legs, tossing both of his feet atop his desk. Oh, trust me, I have my heirloom passed upon me to my father, from my father, to me. Pointing to his greatsword. It still hits like a truck. What is this truck you speak of? A wagon train, if you will. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> a series of horses moving at top speed. That would hurt. It does. Well, it's good to know, if nothing else, you haven't dulled too much. Old man. Old man. And with that, he'll just go ahead and kind of drop a heel on the uh, last laugh agent's scrotum and pop up to his feet. That said, we'll come back when we have word. I don't know. I was ready for you to castrate him. Isn't Kiana like a I... patron's NPC? Yes. Yes, it is. I put my uh... on his scrotum and then I cut it off. I'll well, he was coming here to kill my brother. I can take a little vindictive vengeance. <laughs> I'll look back to Tercian. Uh, we'll keep in touch. It's not. It's uh, it's Zax. Zax Zack one one one. Kiana is his uh, his halberdier. Tekin got no NPC. Yep, Tekin got no NPC. Yet. Um. So yeah, I'll walk out uh, with a uh, master skeleton rang and party. Okay. When you guys finally make it out of earshot you'll find that the guards are not really paying attention, um, that you guys are finally alone. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves before we end tonight's session. Do you, do you guys think Jenya knows that Alec was running for the, for the head? I think Jenya knew enough to go ahead and come to us to stop him. If I had to guess, somebody is inciting all this action. Somebody Who's... is turning both ends against the middle. Was that the woman you you were uh, you were helping earlier yes. from the mob? She's not part of the mob. She, never mind. She's she a part of your of order. Church. Yes. Yeah, she run. You know, she's in command of the Church of Saint Cuthbert. She's only recently had the position due to um. Well, I I don't know what you would call a it. Passing. Now. Um, Saren Ray's will, I suppose. Can I get some perceptions, please, from a lot of you? Okay. Stepping back out into the street, you will see that the mobs continue, but at a dullened pace. You can tell that there are streets over still. Still yelling, as such. Um... Balfar and Klaus. What about me? Uh, Sakata, this is not the case because he's not going to stick out in memory due to the fact that you didn't see him today. Oh, okay. Klaus and Balfar. Mm -hmm. uh, from the corner, uh, from the side of the building, you will see that there is an individual that has moved just into your forays. An individual that you have seen all too close, Klaus. It is none other than Mavu himself. He is staying out of the field of vision of the guards, but when he sees you and you see him, he nods to you and he motions for you to step into the alley. This is both of us seeing him do that? Yes. I'll look back over to Klaus. Well. Found our guy. Looks that found, way. Found who? Just come on. Start walking over. Okay. As you step over into the alley, you see that he has his back turned to you, and he's he's leaning on a series of barrels. Um, when he turns to see you, it seems as if the color has been drained from his face, and he is still gaunt uh, to the to the very stares of himself. Um, 
Sakata, he's kind of familiar, but you saw him as a much hardier, healthier individual. Uh, Klaus, you saw that this is something that had happened courtesy of the Breath Drinker stealing his life away. Um, looking to you, Klaus, and Balthar. Mm-hmm. He takes what looks to be like some kind of handkerchief, and he dabs at his mouth where he removes this like almost like pus-imbued blood from his lips. Thank you. Thank you for saving me today. Now, this is the gentleman whose daughter died, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. He bummed us for for a while. Uh, Looking at uh, him and then back at Klaus, there's a... there's some things that we have to talk about regarding this, and then I'll kind of point back out to the alley, to like towards the mob. I I understand. I I I didn't want this to happen this way. I didn't want this to get out of hand. This is you not... didn't want it to get out of hand. You assembled a mob that consists of the entire town, and you're saying you didn't intend for this to get out of hand. No, I didn't intend on anyone to bring daggers to a speech. It was a rally for conversation. The point was not to bring blood, but to bring ideals. But I wouldn't expect you to know. Or understand, for that matter. I understand the situation that that the town is in right now. Believe me. I may live in the forest, but I am not ignorant to the the ways of a city, you, nor its governments. You live in the forest, and yet you pretend to understand what's happening inside of these walls? Hey, I'm getting a pretty quick grasp of it. But to think that you could assemble this this amount of people and Wait, do you think, just have, then you have, think emotion, that... <laughs> have angry emotions alone? Do you think I did this? Well? No, oh, I spoke Balthazar. my piece. I spoke my piece and my piece alone. These people are angry at the taxation. Did you think that I hung that man in the streets just because of my anger? No, he was my friend. We grew up in these streets. Yes, I'm angry. Of course I am. Particularly angry at that man there for viewing my daughter's life as nothing more than just a paying gig. I know he's talking about me. Yeah, he's um, talking about Sakata. Yeah, I'm just gonna choose to uh, not entirely acknowledge that right away. And just let him continue talking. But just look back over my shoulder and just kind of look back at him. I'm gonna shrug my shoulders when he looks at me. I'm grateful that you managed to save my life on this day. My intentions weren't to bewilder the people of this town and rally them into consciously taking lives. But it was to Here's... bring them together to rally against this taxation in this government to expose and defeat the hidden evil inside of Cauldron. This place used to be a place that we could raise our children without fear. But let me ask you this. Who were you speaking with to plan all this out. Something tells me you didn't go door to door asking for this rally. It wasn't your idea to put out those flyers. No, you're right. It's, It's not. Then who? Listen, I have some allies that I believe wish to speak with you. And it seemed that you had someone in mind as well. A few of my allies will be gathering in the town of Red Gorge. You must seek the Red Miners in. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me... My question here is this. If we leave town to go find these miners, are you going to quell your people? As you can see, things are getting a little out of hand. And while the taxation is an issue, it does need time to be resolved. Um, new town outside of Cauldron? Yes, it's called Red Gorge. He says go to the Redhead Miners Inn. It's called Red Gorge, Redheaded Miners Inn. Speak, speak the answer, Mortar, to the appropriate question. Tavern. I'm not going to be in this town to quell my people. And I've already heard that 
The mayor is coming in tonight to speak word of how long the taxation will continue. Do you think that anything else that I can say will stop anything that these people wish to do? No. no. Nothing you say may be able to stop it, but there's plenty you can say to dissuade it. Uh, what was the what was the word that we were speaking? Sorry, mortar. 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 You're right. There is some things that I can say to dissuade it, and that's something that I wish to bring up with my allies, and hopefully you in tow. If Mahu. you'd like to meet them, I would recommend it. One of the individuals that wish to bring about the ending of this siege of evil, this corrupt government, is a good friend of mine by the name of Alec Tercival. And I believe that each of you would do well to meet him. And you should hear what we have to say before you immediately assume us a common evil. Would I, would I know Tercival at all? I'm about to say, I'm like 90% sure I've heard that name before. Do you mean earlier this session? Well, no, you, you guys wouldn't be privy to the name Tercival. I mean, as in like 40, 50 sessions ago. No. Given Tercival's trying to kill my brother, yes, I would very much like to meet this gentleman. Your brother? Oops. I was under the impers just impersonal ideas that he was, well, without kin. My impressions were obviously distraught and wrong. Uh, forgive me, but your brother is working, or at least we believe that your brother is working with the lords and ladies of Cauldron. Allow, that's a discussion I can have with Alec. For now, just let me say the Skellerings have always only worked in the interest of the city. Then look at his look at his recordings of his finances. Oh shit. Sorry, that was out of character. <laughs> yeah, I should just hear him in the corner. Oh shit. Mabu, we, we need to know if you have any enemies, if you have someone that wants you dead. This is the second time that we found a summoning circle near you and your loved ones. I would say that that's probably accurate at this point. I would assume that many people would want me dead. Who exactly? They haven't exactly come out and said. I have a question. This is, you said the second time a summoning circle has been... Uh, Used correct, close, correct. Same materials as before. I believe so. Yes, it seemed very similar. Well, to who be would fair. you know that carries a large supply of lavender, a very potent supply? Uh, would that ring any bells, Pub? The oh, last flower girl. No, I'm asking. I'm asking uh, Mavu. Like, the last straight. person uh, in town that uh, had any capability of drawing in large scale amounts of supplies, especially herbs of that kind, would have been Connor at the We Apothecary. Hmm. Who, last I checked, is quite dead. No, Connor fled <laughs> town. He ran away. Did he? Yes, Connor fled town. Yeah. Why? Because I mean, he wasn't he... preparing to pay his taxes. And That's right! I word around low up. caste was that they're trying to make <clears throat> an impression on the people by starting with those in middle class that refuse to pay their taxes. Very well. Well, that go, having go. been said, it seems like we have somewhere to go and people to talk to. Alec, are you going to be coming with us? Or are you going to be staying here and hopefully just buying us a little time with the people? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull Klaus aside once these guys are done talking to talk to him if he's out of his spirit or uh, his uh, ethereal elemental. form elemental, elemental. form yeah. I think he's been out of it yeah mm -hmm. and yeah I'd like to um, pull him aside and talk to him Mabu uh, oh shit what I want to ask you fuck <laughs> um give me a second yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. Well, but Mavu, think you can work with the people here and buy us a little bit of time to see just who is really behind all this? 
because it's quite obvious you didn't intend for assassins to be in the crowd. And it's quite obvious from our end that the assassins weren't just targeting you, they were targeting my brother as well. I'll be making my way to Red Gorge. Then oh. we can travel together. Now I remember. Um, can I do a or survival check to see if there's any herbs um, that I could recommend to him that would help him restore his uh, low vitality back to him? He needs rest. This is this is damage, and okay. unless you have like a lesser restoration potion, it's not really going to help him much. This is just going to be a time thing. But with that, okay. after say, stating that he's going to Red Gorge, he knocks back a potion, uh, and he says, I bid you adieu, and hopefully see you in Red Gorge in the next week or so. We won't be making a move until we speak with you. And with that, he begins to dissipate as he emits this almost mist, and he becomes a gaseous form that seems to float on. Dissipate. Nice. Like Woo! a Holy shit, that was crazy. And with that, I'm actually cutting tonight's session. Yeah, that was a fucking dope. That was dope. Uh, so was tonight's session dope. will end there. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with that. I think that went really, really well. Um, do you have any questions or concerns from anyone in the audience? If you would be so kind, this is your um, chance. Did he say question? Did he give? Did he tell us who we were going to be meeting with? Or he just said we just once we once we know who the people are, I guess once we meet up with them, then we get the password. He said when we're proud, to, well, when the time's right. Somebody okay, so is going. We're, no, we're going to show up and we're at be this prompted. tavern. Okay. And we may be approached. Okay. If we are asked a particular kind of question, mortar is the answer. Okay. Um, so just to be sure, Red Gorge is this town we're going to. Red Headers Tavern. Red Head Miners Inn. Red Head. Now you see, Jared can't be around miners anymore. Miners can. Jared, we're gonna have to get you against your uh, your uh, your court order. Yeah, we're gonna have to take my ankle bracelet off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Head Do miners have in school or church or park or playground. <laughs> you have to stay at least fifty yards away from each and every one of those. Ever since, ever since he punched that dwarf miner. <laughs> Mortar. You know, he's just not allowed around the whole guild. Okay. Woo! That was pretty intense, though. That was pretty good, guys. Like, damn. That was fucking That dope. was a story one. That was good. That was a good I don't know. Man. That was a story one? I, I happened to knock some dude the fuck out. <laughs> damn. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we are going to awesome. go ahead and find someone to show some love to. Um, at this point, I want to go ahead and fire the love oh. over to uh, to our very uh, our very own Scientific Gaming. It looks like he's doing the deed with uh, some Killing Floor right now, actually. Bubs. What's up? Uh, Horm was going to talk to Klaus about something before we ended. I, I, can, do it. Say I can do it next week. Okay. It's not of dire importance. He's asking, he's like, dude, what's your shoe size? I need to know. Did they ever get Jared's monster set? No, that's not something that we've worked on yet, but that's something that we will work on, I promise. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to fire at me, check out the uh, check out the Discord. Check out Twitter. Uh, let's go ahead and get those in there if, if someone wants to coin those for All me. I gotta say is that tonight went exactly as the book foretold. Yeah, I think, Dang, it, we, I think it went pretty well. We did pretty well. I mean, what do you think, Bub? Like, how do you... I think, it's, I, think good. I think you guys made a big mistake in, you know, jumping across town and seeing everything going down instead of going ahead and like backing up, pulling up some some backup and all that is like, oh no, at Elemental, we got this shit. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna shoot the love over to Jared at Scientific Gaming right now. This is a good chance for you cats to get to see some Killing Floor in action. Um, and tell him I said hi. It's just Wednesday. We'll be back tomorrow night with. Some more of uh, Whispers. Friday night we will have some uh, dragons. dragons. 